So what are we doing today? Well, I guess if you're in here and watching this and you read the title, you know I'm going to be adding a custom ROM from Supercelleron over at freaktab.com. So what do you need to do? Why do we need to do this? Well, why do we need to do this? It looks like Supercelleron has done some customizing ROM, which in this particular case, it's going to change the bottom navigation bar, have the box rooted properly, um, hopefully we get better performance. He's also done some others like the GT1B link and people are just raving so I thought I couldn't ignore this anymore. So what are you going to need? Well of course you're going to need the TV box itself. You're going to need a micro SD card if I can pick it up here. You're going to need a little micro SD card at least an 8 gig. That's a 16 gig. You're going to need a micro SD card adapter for your PC so you could format it and add the file because we're going to be doing the uh, reboot style, memory stick style, whatever you want to call it to install. You're going to need a paper clip and you're also going to need a USB flash memory stick so you can back up some files like the bootloader. We'll, we'll, I'll show you where, where it's located. So that's what we're going to do today. Also make sure you check your Wi-Fi hardware to, if it's the AP6330. If it's not you cannot do it to this box. Now I'm not responsible for you breaking your TV box, Supercelleron is not responsible for breaking your TV box, so make sure you have everything, all your ducks in a row, you check your Wi-Fi card to see if it's compatible with his custom ROM, and if everything works, hey, you know, donate to him, because he did all this work, and hopefully it runs better, and uh, you like it better. Also, I'm going to be at trying another launcher. So you'll see what the launcher quickly looks like. I'm not going to get too deep into it. And yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned. Okay, so first, you're going to grab the file. So here I am at freaktab.com, and I will put a link at the bottom. And what you'll see is you'll see Supercelleron has... Oh, right now, looks like he's got five custom ROMs. There's actually a GT1 in here for B-Link. But we are now focusing on Sunvale, which is the third one down right now. So I'm going to click on it. And you're going to see down in the first one, which one to download. So I downloaded the T95KU because that's the model I have. So download that. You're also going to need to download the Burn Card Maker. Now I'm going to leave a description with the Burn Card Maker at the bottom. I know links are changing so you might have to find that on your own. So when you have the two files I'll open my file explorer and there is my T95K which is a zip file and a TFRAR file so you'll need a WinRAR to be installed in your computer to extract it. So I created a directory and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to extract here for the burn car maker and there it is you created a new directory. If I go to the TF and there's a burn car maker zip file so I'm going to click on, right click on it and I'm going to say extract here. So there's the EXC file for the burn car maker. Now here is the T95KU Pro zip so I'm going to extract this one here and let that go.
Now you see an image file here that we need to burn. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the memory stick in my computer to reformat the micro SD card. So I just put it in. As you can see, there's my it's my E. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click hang on make sure that there's no data in here that you need so I'm going to right click and I'm going to say format now make sure it's FAT32 and I'm just going to say start and yes warning and format complete beautiful alright so now we are going to go into the directory with the burn car maker so it's been a while since I've done this so you're gonna click on burn car maker and say run as administrator okay so now it's going to be in Japanese so let me double check here top left you can see this guy right here you click on it and it is the let's see second one down yes and then we're going to say English version and you're going to say OK then you're going to close out of it then you to right click on it again you can say run at administrator say yes and now it's in English I don't know if you can see it but that's how you set it to English alright from there let's see you're going to choose the disk which is going to be E for me could be different for you because you can see E down here so I'm going to pick E so now let's see yes must be checked for two partition and format two partition and format should say yes which is the first category yes I'm reading it as we go uh, reboot Oh, let's see, let's see, two partition format. Erase flash should be checked, which it is. And reboot should be checked. Sorry, erase and reboot. Erase bootloader must be. Okay, and then erase bootloader which is this guy here should be unchecked okay so sorry guys I had to read it I want to make sure I'm not uh, screwing anything up or t telling you guys anything wrong so really the first one should be checked the one below it should be checked the reboot to over to here should be checked and the erase bootloader should be unchecked alright so next So we're going to click on the open and now we're going to go and find the image file. So here's the image file for the Sunveil and we're going to click make. Oh, I'm sorry, just say open. Then we're going to click on make. And we're going to say OK. I guess it wants to format already. So my first format was unnecessary. Format completed. OK. And close. 
And now it's burning the image file. All right, we have success. So I'm going to set, say OK. Close out of this. And we are done. We are successful making the file. That's what's inside of it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Sunveil TV box and we're going to back up a couple of files. So hold on one moment. All right, so here we are, and this is what we call the boot launcher. And what we're going to do is we're going to back up the boot launcher. Because if you like this animation, or if you don't, at least you still have the backup so you can change the animation at the boot screen. So here's TV launcher, launcher, which I will be changing, but um, let's back up a couple of things. So for me I backed up all my JPEGs and so if you want to back up your JPEGs see look always a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the boot launcher and we're going to back that up. So I'm going to use ES File Explorer and I'm going to go to local and we're going to go to the device so we're going to go down to system and we're going to go to media and you're going to copy and paste boot animation on your stick or PC so at least you have a backup of it. So make sure you have that backed up. Now this bottom launcher just just so you know it's going to change. It's going to go where there's going to be a power off button, there's going to be an all close if you hit the square you're going to have this big X to close everything. So that's uh, one advantage with this custom ROM. So that's all you're going to need. So now we're going to hopefully install the custom ROM and not brick everything and I'll get back to you. Alright, this is going to be a little hard to record because it's uh, going to be pretty tight. So first we're going to put the memory stick in the box. All right. So it clicked on. Now it's going to be the hard part. You're going to have to hit the reset button and the power button at the same time. So you have to find the reset button and on the sun veil, believe it or not, the reset button is in the AV port right here. It's inside and you're going to have to do the power. Sorry. <laughs> going to be a little hard so bear with me here. So basically, let me turn this around. It might be easier for me to do it this way. Okay. So come on stand. Okay, so basically, you have to take the paper clip and go in there and feel until you hear a click and then you hit the power at the same time, you push in the power, and let's take a look to see if we're going to get let's see here I don't think it worked So you're going to put a paper clip and you're going to, until you hear a click, and you're going to put the power at the same time. Oh, and now, 
as you can see, I just did it. It's updating. Sorry about the quick. I just want to make sure we have everything documented. So now this is going to run for a while. So it looks like it's now accepting the new ROM. All right, and there we go. I'll tell you what, I was a little nervous about that. So let's just say, uh, next. Oh, we'll just, uh, we'll skip this for now. And there you go. If you see, and now there's a power button on the bottom navigation. The square, oh, has this X. Now that closes all apps. Wow, I'm very excited, very, very excited. Look, and, and it also brings it down and up like it didn't do it before. So, this launcher is going to go. We're gonna put another launcher in. Look at this, the bottom navigation. That's very exciting, guys, wow. Top works beautifully. So far, everything looks good. So let me get back to you. Let me set this all up with um, Wi-Fi and the Google Store, and um, let's continue on. All right, so I am going to install Square Home Tablet Old for the launcher. And um, the reason why I'm going to install this launcher is you can customize the size of the squares. And that's really what I've been looking for because I really like the B-Link. And that's kind of what I want to see. So I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to install it and show you guys. All right, so that's the boot animation. And I'm gonna to try to change it back to the default animation. All right, so I'm gonna get the memory stick and I am going to put it in the box all right we're going to just say okay because I'm going to use ES file explorer okay I'm going to go to the home I'm going to Okay, so what I want to do first is I want to back up the one that there is now. So I'm going to go to device. I'm going to go into system, media, and this is the boot animation. I'm just going to copy. Then I'm going to go into my downloads. I'm going to paste it. Doesn't matter where. So now this is the new boot animation. Let me check. The boot animation, I'm going to say copy the original. Back to device. System. Media. And I'm going to say paste. say overwrite and it's failed so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna change 
the root and see if it does it now. All right, now I'm going to try it again. I'm going to go back to the downloads. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go to device, system, media. I'm going to say paste. I'm going to say override. All right, so it overrid the file, so let me shut down. And then I'm going to turn it on again and see what happens. And there you go, there's the original boot animation. And as you can see, it all works. And there you go. So I'm going to be working on this launcher to make it look better. Then I'll have my final I'll have my final results and tell you what I think about this new customized ROM. So my final thoughts is yeah, I like it. I don't see that much of a difference in the cost custom ROM than the standard ROM, but I do like the bottom navigation bar down here. Um, it seems a little snappier. Wi-Fi, I can't really tell if there's any big difference, but hey, it's worth a try. I do like the new launcher. I'm going to play with the Kodi icons a little more. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you later.